What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I am back in Trailmakers because I was actually playing No Man's Sky and I thought it would be cool to try and replicate or even just try and build something like the Nomad Exocraft, which is kind of like a pond skimmer style hovercraft. It's really neat. It allows you to go on water, on land. It even does like a hopping action, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to try and uh, give that a go today. See you know, see if I can do something similar, and uh, I'm I'm pretty excited for it, I'm not gonna lie. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh man, I think I'm onto something here, guys. Now, I actually forgot to mention, the main reason that I wanted to build this is because I noticed that the Nomad actually has suspension. Its hover pads are on suspension, and I thought that was really neat, and I was like, you know what, maybe I can build kind of like an off-road hovercraft, and, uh, you know, make something, you know, make something similar, you know, try and replicate how that thing behaves in trail makers but i was having some trouble at first guys because my hover pads were actually facing kind of outwards i thought that might help with rougher terrain and uh you know approaching obstacles but i quickly found out that it was doing some weird stuff and slowed me down and in fact when you combine two hover pads together it does some weird things here let me just demonstrate quickly so if i double up on these guys right here on the hover pads it actually creates like a weird glitch where it it just keeps going up. It doesn't actually hover. It just keeps going up and up and up because I think the one, well, the one hover pad is treating the hover pad below it as, you know, as the ground and it just, it keeps going up. Just keeps going up, man. All right, here we go. Start it up. There we go. And we're gonna forever, well, I don't know how far we're gonna go up, but we're just gonna keep going up. This is ridiculous. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to demonstrate. <laughs> just kind of thought it was a funny thing that I discovered while, you know, trying to, uh, to build this thing but in any case here we are i do have suspension on it it does seem to work okay i haven't tested it off-road yet but the biggest thing that i'm kind of proud of is the stabilization system that i built it's actually very very simple but it works quite well the biggest problem that i've had with hovercrafts and trail makers in the past is that they're really hard to slow down you know they kind of just keep going and you end up crashing into walls and i wanted something that when you let go of all the controls it just slows itself down which is exactly how the nomad exocraft works in no man's sky it slows itself down which is nice so that is exactly what i did here and what i have is speed sensors in every direction and they detect if the thing is moving and if it is moving in that direction then it engages the thrusters in uh well i guess the opposite direction to basically counteract that motion it works quite well and it only happens when i let go of the w key which is my forward so if i uh, if i get into this thing right here as you can see, it's floating nicely. I've got my sensors kind of going off. Now, if I go forward and press W, I also have some assist from the stabilization thrusters, which is nice. As you can see, the one side thruster is going because, well, I'm, I'm turning, so it wants to, you know, slow me down, I guess. Now, if I fully let go here, if I fully let go, it's going to slow itself down eventually. I don't have stabilization in the rotation, uh, I guess motion so it's it can kind of spin around on its own a lot of the time But you can just kind of counteract that yourself You know, it's only one thing to worry about as opposed to like all of the degrees of motion or rather all the directions So yeah, I'm really happy with how this worked out. It works quite well I can even do like, you know, like a spin like this and it's gonna figure it out It's gonna stop itself. See it switches from the front thrusters to the back ones. It's pretty cool It's pretty cool. I'm really happy with how this worked out now, I have to keep building it. I'm going to actually build up the body of the Nomad or, you know, try and build the body of the Nomad. It's going to be tough because I don't have the same pieces, but I think it's going to look cool regardless. So let's keep going.
Oh man, here we go, guys. I actually love how it turned out. It's, you know, it's different. It's obviously different, but I think this is awesome. Uh, this looks great in my opinion. I love it. I love it so much. This is a really neat vehicle. Well, a neat looking vehicle. We'll see how it performs. I haven't actually tested it off road yet. Um, and I know that to go on water, it's best to have the, the hover pad spinning, which is why I have them on servos. Um, I could, you know, get them to spin and that might actually, you know, be beneficial. And I don't have any way of making this thing jump because the Nomad in No Man's Sky, you can actually press space and it does like a little hop. It's very momentary, but it does it. And I think I'm going to try and do that. Uh, but, you know, we're going to see how the suspension behaves. We're going to see how it flies. Let's do some speed runs first on the flat land here and uh, see, see how we do. Oh, man. So cool. So cool. I actually went with three thrusters. So this should be pretty quick. Let's give it a go. Acceleration is decent. It's actually quick. Oh, man. 150 now. Not bad, 160. All right, I'll take it. I mean, that's a pretty fast hovercraft. Dude, that looks cool. I should really put some weapons on it. I really should. I mean, it is it is a no man's sky hovercraft after all. Pretty sure you can put weapons on that thing. 163, okay. And now if we let go, is it gonna slow itself down? It's slowing itself down. This is amazing. Had a little hiccup there, that was weird. But, uh, wow, nice. This thing is wicked. You know what? Let's go test it as is. And then I wonder what would happen if we put double the suspension on it. Just doubled up on the suspension just to give it a little bit more travel. I know some weird things may happen when you do that, but I think, uh, I think I'm think i ready to give this thing a try in some proper terrain. I love how this ended up looking. That's so cool. <laughs> Figured Race Island would be a good one. This is a pretty neat map. It's got a lot of cool terrain, so let's give it a try. Let's see how this thing behaves, man. I'm really excited to see it. Oh no. Oh no, that was not good. <laughs> that was not good already. Uh, so high speed is uh, not, probably not beneficial for this thing, you know? Oh geez, yeah. Wow. Wow. I think I need to rotate those tubes inwards. Otherwise they're gonna get hung up on stuff. I wonder if that's what's happening. I guess let's, uh, let's try again here. Jeez. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what's happening. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. They're all kind of rotated to the inside now-ish. What's going on here? Oh, right, because I ended up moving something. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Oof, that's not a, that's not a whole lot better. We need more clearance. That's the issue is we need more clearance. And we need like stronger, I guess, attraction to the ground. Let's see what it- oh, it's at two. What if we bring it to one? Because I think the further you are from the ground, the less, I guess, strong the hovering force is. So this might work better. I don't know. Probably not. Come on. Oh, gee. Oh, my goodness. That's rough. That's rough. Okay, let's double up on the suspension. I'm just- honestly, I'm just curious at this point. We'll do that, and then I think I have a solution, maybe, for making this thing a little bit better off-road. Because right now, it's only really good for, like, you know, driving across planes, it seems. Alright, baby, double the suspension on this side. That's hilarious. Looking awesome. And double the suspension on this side. Nice, let's give this a try. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so bouncy in the back. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, well, can we... Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. I really want to... Oh my goodness, that sucks so much. Really want to find a flat spot just to really send this thing and see how the suspension works, you know? Oh? Suspension is not really doing a whole lot here. It doesn't need to- oh my goodness! Uh... Okay, I think maybe if we try putting some gimbal jets on the bottom of the hover pads, that might assist us a little bit, you know? So let's do that. Where are the gimbal jets at? Alrighty, here we go. Let's give this a try. I put some... I guess, uh, gimbal thrusters below the hover blocks, and I wonder what that will do. Oh, it does the same thing. It does the same thing. Wow. Hello. Okay, so I guess we can't have that. What if I have it offset a little bit? I wonder if that's still gonna do that. Yep, still does it. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks. Okay, what can we do? I suppose just for now, I can place the gimbal thrusters here, like so. 
Looks stupid, but you know what? Whatever, we're just testing some stuff out here. Might as well. Let's give this a try. Let's set them all to one button. Space, toggle. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's get in. Nice, we're hovering now. If we press space... Okay, we get a little bit more... Huh, we get a little bit more height. Interesting. Oh, and I don't have my double suspension. Whoops. I reverted back and I didn't save it. Now, I do wish there was a little bit less flexibility in the joints, like in the hinges and stuff. Because as you can see, they do flex a little bit and it does... I mean, it kind of helps things, but not really. But in any case, let's throw on our gimbal jets. There we go. Perfect. Are we... Are we going to be better here? Let's try. Let's go try tackling an obstacle. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, we're so much better. I mean, granted, going at a wall like that, I don't think is ever a good thing, you know? Let's just try going over a hill. Like, let's just try going up this little hill in front of us. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? No! <laughs> uh, okay, so the gimbal, gimbal thrusters are a little bit aggressive, it seems. Um, sure. Let's activate them when we're close to the hill. Come on. Okay, activate gimbal thrusters. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was a little bit better. Turned them off. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that's a safe point. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Don't fly. Don't fly. Are they too strong? Maybe they're just too strong, you know? Maybe they just need to be a little bit weaker. Let's let's do that. Also, did I move this again? My goodness, I'm all over the place. So let's select all of these and go to like 0.75. Let's try tackling this hill again. Gibble, nice. That was, pr and then it just floats up unless I turned them off. Crazy man, crazy. It becomes light in the front, and it, yeah, see, like every time it goes in the corner, it becomes light on that side. And, uh, it, yeah, it just does funny things. Fantastic. I like it, though. It's fun. I mean, it's cool. It's just not very good for off-roading yet. Start zone. Oh, boy. Oof. Okay, I got the gimbal thrusters on. Don't die on that, man. Come on. It's nice that it stops itself and doesn't just, like, go way out of control. That would suck. All right. Oof. 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 No, man, it just wants to lift up. Crazy. Crazy. And more hover pads don't really... Like, they wouldn't really help here. You know? So... I don't know what to do. Do I do, like, small thrusters? Maybe small thrusters would be better. I don't know. Oh, jeez, man. That's so rough. Alright, let's see what these little thrusters do. If they help at all. Kind of. They sort of raise it. I mean, let's try. Let's try. Or is it also going to try and, like, launch me all the way up? Maybe. Maybe not. So far, so good. I don't even know where I'm going, but this looks like a good place to go. Oh, man. This is nice. We're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. All oh, right. We're going back along this way. I guess I should go this way. Let's do that. Mm, go. Accelerate. Accelerado. Let's go. Uh, it does tend to, like, over-rotate for some reason, but I'm not... You know, I'm not too worried about that as an issue right now. Yo, these thrusters are actually working out decent. I mean, that was a bit of a slam, but, you know. Dude, this is kind of cool. This is working out way better than the gimbal jets, that's for sure. Racing along here, this is nice. Let's see how it takes this dip at full speed. Okay, turn, 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 turn. Okay, we're... Okay, we're doing okay. <laughs> Ooh, oof. A little too low there. A little too low. Does it think I'm racing? I'm not racing, bro. I'm just trying to go up hills and stuff. Let's go. Okay, a little rough there. A little rough there. What if we had more? That is the uh, question of the day. Might have to lower the power on them. I don't think we're gonna need, like, full, you know, full 100% on these things. But I guess we'll see. We'll try them on 100%. And if we fly into oblivion, then I'll probably have to decrease it a bit. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, all right. We're not flying anywhere, which is nice. Are we hovering further? Maybe. Can we go up this hill? Oh, maybe. Okay, I like this. I like this. This is nice. I mean, my pods look nothing like the original Nomad anymore. They're not round. They've got random jet thrusters on them. But hey, pro tip. If it looks stupid, but works, it ain't stupid. 
<laughs> Thank you, sign. I appreciate, I appreciate the confidence. I've never been here. This is neat. I've never like taken this path before. Whoa. Nice, nice. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Huh. It's funny how it stops itself in that direction. I love it. Oop! Careful, careful. Let's go in the water. Why not, right? Why not? Skim over some land here. I did take off the extra suspension layer. I do think it, you know, it's a little better. It's a little more stable. But, yeah. This is awesome, dude. This thing is sick. <laughs> Alright, let's get back onto land. I'd be curious to uh, see how that transition goes. This is, this is fun to play with now. Before, it was a little bit front. Yo, that's so cool. Suspensions, dude. It's saying don't crash. Oh, uh, back. Yo, okay. We're definitely going to crash here, but let's just try it. Let's just send it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we all knew that was going to happen. We all knew that was going to be the case. Now, I'm also realizing I never actually tried to make this thing hop. I'm so focused on trying to make it go over, you know, off-road terrain that I totally forgot that the original Nomad actually kind of hops a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve it. I was hoping that the gimbal jets initially would, you know, help with that. But I've got a bunch of thrusters on here right now. And if I press space, as you can see, it kind of hops. It sort of hops. Um, it's kind of useless on the actual Nomad as well. So I'm not too concerned about it being, you know, useless on this creation. But, uh, yeah, I can kind of do a little hopping motion. Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> Uh, ridiculous. <laughs> it looks so funny. <laughs> Just dipping up and down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I do wish I could control the, uh, the hover pad strength, though. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Alrighty, one last modification, guys, before I think I'm gonna call it a, you know, job well done. I mean, I think it works well. You know, there are definitely some game limitations, you know, there's definitely some part limitations. I wish we had more control over these hover blocks. I wish we could really mess with the values, you know, like, like how strong the attraction is, or I guess rather... Well, yeah, I guess it is attraction and repulsion in some sense. You know, you're holding the thing in equilibrium. So I'd love to be able to control that force. Um, we need mods. We need mods ASAP. I've been spoiled by other games now. Alrighty, so I'm just going to copy that over there. And I'm just going to do the same everywhere else. And we're going to see if that helps even more. Or if it's just going to, you know, send us into oblivion. So let's try. Looking good. Press space. Okay. Interesting. Not going into oblivion yet. And going into oblivion. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, noted. Noted. Uh, let's try decreasing the power, maybe. I don't know, guys. I think we're getting to that point where it's probably as good as it gets. Unless you guys have some ideas, definitely let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's go. Is it going to go into oblivion? It, it like, kind of wants to go into oblivion, but it ain't bad. Yo, that's kind of neat, actually. That's kind of neat. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah, there's there's the Oblivion. Um, I, I don't like this. I don't like these. We're going to get rid of them. They are not very helpful at the moment. So that's it. I suppose this is the final version. I like it. It's fun. It's definitely fun to use. I mean, it could be better. But like I said, I just wish I had more options for messing with the hover blocks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stop. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's only got, like, the small thrusters for stabilization to keep it all, you know, nice and tight in a compact space. Uh, so it, uh, yeah. It, it does take some time to slow down. This is fun, though. It does some weird things sometimes, but I don't know. Overall, it's night. Oh, my goodness. Whee! And crash. Well, what can I say, guys? Somewhat of a success. Definitely looks very cool. Um, it's not as practical as the Nomad in No Man's Sky. I definitely, you know, wouldn't trust it as much as I trust the Nomad. But I still think it's a pretty cool creation. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it in terms of, you know, I guess aesthetics and performance. Let me know if you have any ideas on how to make this better. Because maybe I'm just thinking, you know, like very close-minded at this point. I've been doing this for a while, you know. What's going on down there? Oh, it's an underwater race. Very good. Actually, one thing we didn't try is spinning the darn things. So let's spin the darn things. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think we have a bit of a disbalance going on. Oh no. <laughs> Let's get rid of these things. Let's get it on water and see if that's fast enough. Oh my goodness, that is not fast enough. Okay, we need helicopter engines. A little more disbalance there. Oh man, okay, we, we need to fix that. That's rough. Nice. All right, let's see how this works. Can I actually like stay up on water? Are you kidding me, man? What's going on here? What's going on here? I thought I thought that was supposed to work. Did they get rid of that? Is that glitch gone? Maybe I'm just trying something that doesn't work anymore. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe my creation's too big. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just get enough speed and keep going. Let's go in between there. Let's go in between here. Just to prove that this thing can actually turn. Oh, nice. This is fun. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is fun. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was close. Oof, oof. Handled that in a very interesting way. Back out onto the water. If we don't die here. Uh, definitely needs more, like, a stronger force, you know? Oh, don't hit the cone. Don't hit the cone. Let's go. It's fun, though. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, like I said, if you have any ideas on how to make this thing better, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Give me some other ideas on what to build. I thought maybe I could try some other vehicles as well from other video games. But uh, this was just kind of a spontaneous idea that I had. And I think it turned out pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button down below. Check out some of my other videos. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.